Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of WWE 2K23, My Rise, with The Lock, Kid Gorgeous, ready for another exciting episode. Last episode, um, we won a tournament, and we also... Um, Honestly, I can't remember much of last last episode. Um, I'm just going to be honest with you. It's, uh, it's been um, more than a week or so since I played. Um, and I don't know if I also may have played a little bit of um, Tessa's campaign. So, I'm a little dim. So, all I can say is watch last episode. I'm pretty sure in that episode I... Won a tournament, but it could also been a, could have been an episode before that, and maybe the last episode I was taking care of all the uh, side quests, side challenges. I've got one more side quest coming up. Um, side quests, missions, whatever you want to call them. Um, before I go back to the main story and talking to Tavish, um, so let's take care of some business here and find out what Justine has to say. Justine is the niece of. LJ. Uh, LJ is little Justine. That's the main character of the My Legacy storyline, playing by Tessa. So with this in mind, uh, I don't like Justine very much because uh, her character is very um, egotistical and all about herself. Um, I mean, she seems like she cares about her niece, but at the same time, she, some of her decisions are a little sketch. And she also betrayed her partner. Or more so, she was planning on, trip, planning on betraying her partner, but her partner betrayed her first. Because her partner found out she was going to betray her. So I don't really trust Justine. But anyway, let's see what she has to say. Congratulations. So how does it feel to be the hottest thing in pro wrestling since Paul Heyman's undershirt? <laughs> Ouch. First, it's great running into you, Justine. Second, I'm going to need a minute while I erase that image from my brain. To that. Heyman's words, not mine. Set him on my podcast. Any chance you'd like to come onto the show? Talk about everything you've been through since you left WWE? That would be a bad idea. Don't get me wrong. I'm a huge fan of your podcast. Tavish and I listen whenever we can. I'm just not sure I'm ready to start telling my story yet. Oh, come on. Your run in the Apex tournament was incredible. And that's exactly what my listeners want to hear about. What do you say? I'll go easy on you. Let's do it. <sighs> no time like the present, I guess. <laughs> Let's do it. Great. Let's set up a time ASAP. All right, lost in translation with plus 15 upgrade points. Uh, kind of curious what's going to happen in this one. Chase is there. And Chase has... Is that a tattoo? Is that like a, a row of hot dogs, or what's going on on that? Anyway. Hey, heard you on Justine's podcast. Loud and clear. Talking in code again about a platter of stale ribs you threw in the trash. Ah, clearly up to your old tricks. Oh, okay, so those are ribs on his on his body. The, the tattoo of ribs. It's a strange tattoo, but we all make our choices. I have to be totally honest. I have no idea who you are. Name's Chase. Had a stint at the PC recently, or you might even know me as Ribby. Ring any bells? Oh, for sure. You're that mascot guy who almost made his WWE. How'd that all play out? Oh, don't play dumb with me. You know exactly how it played out. 
I never got a contract offer because you told Shawn Michaels to stay away from the ribs in catering, which was clearly code to avoid me. That's some serious next level reaching right there. Wow. Listen, I'd love to stay and clear this nonsense up, but Cole Quinn called into my podcast appearance to talk smack, and now I've got to go give him a receipt. Oh, I know. I was listening. I like the part when he said you haven't changed one bit since your mocap meltdown. We'll see about that. Good luck, Chase. I hope you get to the bottom of whatever deranged conspiracy theories you were talking about. <laughs> oh, I doubt that very much. Well, all right. Well, we are ready to go. Um, we're going to take on Chase, I guess. I'm just going to surprise him and hit him over the head or something. What, what, what's, what's my game plan? What's, what's the end game? So, laugh out loud. Okay, gorgeous. You think your rock bottom's behind you? I see a new rock bottom in your future. Mr. Colquinn, weird. I don't see any future for you at all. Huh! Dang, that's harsh. And awesome. That's brilliant. Alright, so it's me against... I think it's kind of cool to have Cole as like a recurring character from all the different WWE uh, 2K storylines. Uh, he features in um, quite a number of them um, that I've watched. Um, I can't remember which one where he's um, your character starts out um, in the indies and you're recruited to the uh, WWE only to get ambushed and then you're kind of stuck uh, staying in the in the um, in the indie ring for a while and Cole is kind of like an adversary that becomes an ally and two are buddies. And I can't, the, I can't remember what year that is, though. Boom! Start wearing them down. Really? Oh, 
crap. I did not see that Y coming there. And the ref? Is the ref not going to say anything? I guess that was... I guess it's no DQ. I, I guess you could just... Okay. I'm still dizzy. This Ribby guy is going to get... Listen. I am now mad. And what happens when I get mad? Just relentless abuse. Relentless abuse. I hear you. Oh wow, that was, that, that was why I came up very quickly, but... What? Oh, we're doing submissions now? Okay. Oh, we can do submissions. Okay, wow, okay. I guess, uh... Those wires come quick out. We got a better reaction to those. I guess I don't see them coming. Ooh. I have to win by pin or submission, so I can't win by count out. for it. One, two, three. I love, I love my celebration. Like it looks so, uh, it's kind of awkward. Like, like I'm not sure what I want to do with myself. I want to celebrate, but at the same time, I'm just like, okay, that's, yay, go here. Okay, move over here. Okay, yeah. Hey, everybody, I'm here and I won. But <laughs> I am going to beat Chase down. I'm going to beat him down. 
Well, before I do, I'm going to see what social media says. Tell you what, retired or not, the real Justine still knows how to make waves in WWE. Thanks for listening to the pod, Chris. Oh, Trish Stratuscom. Uh, legend, no. Uh, yeah. yeah we gotta love Trish Stratus. Alright. And now I'm gonna take out Chase. Thought you could just blow me off, huh? Not so fast. It's not polite to show up without an invitation, Chase. Guess they don't teach that in deranged mascot school. Huh. A good one. But I think it's about time you start taking me seriously. Nope. Yep. You want serious? How about a match tonight? And if I win, you leave me the heck alone. You sure you don't want to catch your breath first? I'm not interested in Cole Quinn's leftovers. Nope. You'll actually be doing me a favor. Two wins in one night is exactly the kind of buzz I need right now. Okay, that's awfully cocky, but I'll try. Very we'll confident for a WWE washout. Okay, tough guy. If you've got so much gas left in the tank, why don't we make it a no DQ match? Even better. All right, no DQ it means I get to beat him senselessly with a chair. Um, and we're gonna do that, and maybe then submit him. Alright, let's go! Ooh! Of course, that's how I always start, because... Holy crap! I already got him bleeding! Nice! And I can't take it easy on him, because... Oh, he blocked that. Okay. <laughs> Boom. All right. <laughs> oh, 
All right, so I'm ready for a high risk. Maneuver right here. Boom. I'm ready for some more pain. And some more high risk. Boom! Elbow to the back. And a little. Not quite what I wanted. Oh! That is hurtful. That is hurtful. I would say it's just toss it back in the ring here. And I'm ready for it. What? If he re does he reverse? He reversed my finisher. Are you joking? Dude, are you joking right now, Chase? You have, like, d done nothing to me. But you know what? I do want to do something to you. I said I was gonna do it, but I gotta do it. I gotta, I gotta fulfill my, uh, my obligation. All right, lost in translation, and I whooped Chase, and I whooped Ruby. <clears throat> so it says, Kid Gorgeous, any chance I can get you back for another podcast appearance to tell everyone about your recent appearance in law? And I say, no thanks, I'm done with podcasts for now. Too many crazies listening. Okay, that's uh, one way of going about that. Did I already do this one? Yep, you did. So, Curry Klein WWE says the episode you recently recorded for Justine's podcast has been taken down, effective immediately. Okay, that's curious. The Chase's legal team contest the moon landing reference I made? podcast is produced by WWE and you don't work for WWE anymore or did you forget unfortunately everybody seems to keep reminding me I was invited how do you invite someone to a podcast have them speak and then say hey we're gonna take this down because you're not a member of the WWE it's like why did you invite me? That's uh, that that's that's rude and ridiculous and rude and ridiculous and rude and ridiculous. All right. <laughs> so now I decide now. Do I want to use that eighteen points to increase the speed of my? Uh, running and my aerials. I don't do aerials, but let's see. Agility, aerial range. I mean, I, I did some high-risk maneuvers, but I'm not like a high-risk maneuver guy like there's a lot. Um, 
I'll do it on occasion just for the fun of having some variety, some flavor to my fighting. It's it's pretty cool to do, but um, this doesn't deserve my points. I'm going to put the rest of my points in my uh, grappling and my submission. Uh, because that's where it's at. I need to max out on my submission because I am a technical wrestler. And I am a submission wrestler. And um, I might even give myself a challenge and try to make most of my win submission challenges. Uh, but anyway, what does Tavish have to say? Now we're ready for the main storyline. Back into it. I have another big opportunity for you to generate some buzz in a different part of the world. I'm going to have to start paying you commission. What are you thinking? 25%, 30 or maybe 20% plus a cut of all future royalties. I was kidding. Right. Me too. Anyway, I could get you on a show in Mexico teaming up with Hector Flores. WWE sending him to Lucha Magica for a special appearance, and the local promoters are looking for a hot commodity to team up with him. I'll do it. That's pretty much my answer these days. I'm like Yes Man from uh movie The Yes Man. <laughs> I'm like Jim Carrey. Right now, yes to everything. Um, because that progresses the story, but also because I need as much publicity as I can get. I don't really cross paths with Hector much when I was in WWE, but I've heard he's a good guy. And if not, well, at least there will be some good exposure. I'll do it. All right. And the flight's on you, since, you know, I'm not getting paid for any of this. I kind of feel bad that he's not getting any kind of money for any of the stuff. So he's been very helpful. Uh, <laughs> let's get it. We got to do something for him. We got to we gotta, we gotta help him out somehow. Anyway. Let's see a men's Latino heat vest. I guess I could go for a vest. I don't really wear a vest. I can always come up with a vest. There we go. Maybe after this, I'll give myself some uh, some attire to sell, and it'll be a uh, a vest with uh, "Kiss Me, I'm Gorgeous" on it, or something with flavor. I don't know. I'll think of something because, um, yeah. Uh, didn't know you were going to be here, too. Ah, uh, same. I had enough of you after the Apex tournament. Thought I could be look-free for a while. Don't call me that. Okay. Look. Gentlemen, you're going to have to learn to get along better, since you'll be teaming together tonight. What? What? I thought you said Hector Flores was my partner. Hector is your partner. Both of yours. It's a trios match. You know, Lucha Libre tradition. You gotta stop doing stuff like this, Tavish. I knew you'd throw a tantrum and not want to do it, which is why I didn't tell you. So I'll stop doing this stuff when you learn how to get outside of your comfort zone. Are you two done yet? I don't want to do this either, but I'm not over here crying about it with a weird old wrestler who follows me around everywhere I go. Okay, I see your point about him, but it's too late to change the match. Just put your issues aside and work together. You don't have to be best mates or anything. Deal? It will be good content for my socials, I guess. So, I'll do it. <sighs> Fine. But just this one match. That's it. Man, Tavish, you know, he was, I, was, I feel bad for not paying him, but when he's lying to us... He loses his cut because <laughs> it's just it's just obnoxious. I don't like the Jillson at all. I hope I get a chance to beat him up uh, again. I, I just want to hit him with a chair. All right, Hector, what do you got to say? 
Hey, Hector. I was happy to be teaming with you down here. Until I found out we were also teaming with Chosen. It will be fine. I've known Chosen for a while. He can certainly rub people the wrong way, but he means well. I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. I'm going to steer clear of him during the match. If you and I do our thing, I agree, we'll be fine. But enough about Chosen. What have you been up to lately? It's been an interesting time for me in WWE. I turned down the chance to join Los Lotharios, and they've been messing with me ever since. Ha. <laughs> Faction trouble. I had my fair share of that in WWE, too. You're better off on your own. I don't know, I feel like the lesson was that you're not better off on your own because you'll get jumped, you lose your championship because people will be cheating. Just like L.A. Knight was cheated at Queen's Crown. Not Queen's Crown, but Queen's Jewel. Crown Jewel. There you go. Uh, you need to have someone to have your back so that they can stop you from getting screwed over. Yeah, in this case at least. Anyway, I'm happy to see you doing so well now. I had heard you were having a hard time after WWE. Someone said you got into a fight with Sami Zayn at a video game shoot? <sighs> yeah, that happened. But it's all in my past, and like you said, things are going well now. So let's keep the positive momentum going and get the W tonight. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Somebody's didn't earn it that beat down. He really did. He earned it. He, you know, it's a bit ridiculous to attack him while you're at work, but this way it is. So to come, special guests Hector Flores, Kate Gorgeous, and Chosen team together in exciting trios action. One of those is more special than the others. Uh, that will be me. Yes, thank you for highlighting that, Chosen. I was gonna skip him because I don't like him. <laughs> Who are we going up against? Right. 
Hopefully this chase in a mask. And that's Sami Zayn. With the mask. Okay, he's taking so long. <laughs> okay, I guess Chase is, uh, okay, I'm going to Chase again. I thought he was the, the guy in the mask, but he's not. He's a little smaller than the guy, body size-wise, so that makes sense. Let's get going. Ooh. <laughs> you guys are like, please try something else, that's why. Okay, hop out and he throws me right back in. What? Oh, Mago Jr. is who I'm fighting against. I can pull this off this time. There we go. go and now I'm going to there we go and let's start making a tap and we have here <laughs> I tried. I tried. I went for it. I went for it. I had to try. Okay. Let's try this again, shall we?
<laughs> he's just standing there watching as a partner gets, <laughs> gets some hit. Ah. Sweet mercy. Oh, no wonder. Come on, my girl. <laughs> I just have to do it. I just have to do it. Crap. How does he get a return out of that? Oh, <laughs> that was so close. That was so close. What? How was he? Oh, I was going to do my finisher, but he's... Nice. That's what I call teamwork right there. I'm not so great at it, but uh, at least he is. Alright, let's go. One, two, three. Yes. That was terrible teamwork on my part, but I'm just like, you know what? I can manage. I can manage. I got this. So, I'm guessing there's another match after this. I'm guessing that he lied to me again and there's another match. Because that's what Tavis does. He's gonna be like, Hey, if I told you, you wouldn't have gone along with it. I'm gonna be like, man, Tavis, what the heck? What the heck? Who the heck are these guys? Alright, well, I, I don't really appreciate getting uh, surprised with a uh, bunch of guys that are uh, hairy and strange. Um, so then he says, Welcome to a new era. We are Legato. Del Lotheros. Okay, I didn't even finish reading that. Oh, that's okay. I'm just going to go back up now. Okay. Hector Flores made the mistake of turning us down, but everything happens for a reason. We are stronger now with Escobar, WWE, 
and anyone who stands with Hector or gets in our way will suffer. So because he wouldn't join your group, you're going to beat him up. That's, that sounds... That sounds smart. Say for history, for legacy, for my new family, we are ready to take control. Okay, and Hector says, You crossed the line getting my teammates involved in our issue. Let's settle this now. Just us. The only way we'll, you'll see Legado de la Thoros in the ring is if you bring your partners back. And Chosen's mask is on the line. Dang, I actually want to lose now, just so that Chosen can lose his mask. <laughs> no chance this isn't their problem. It is now. I'll do it. If Legado de la Thoros put their hair on the line, let's make it mask versus hair. Dang it. I really don't want to lose, but I also I really want Chosen to lose. Uh, except on behalf of Legado de la Thoros, we won't lose, so there's nothing to worry about. Ah, that's uh, famous last words. Be careful against this new group. They seem like they're out for blood. I know I told you to learn to work with others, but some fights aren't worth it. Yeah, it's not worth it, but... Oh, well, I guess it's just for the ability to say I have uh, successfully defeated more WWE superstars, and can will continue to. Hector Flores and Chosen. And sorry for getting you two involved in all this. That attack was my fault. You didn't know that was going to happen. And now, this is our fight too. We need to get revenge. But putting Chosen's mask on the line is taking things too far. I'm not a masked luchador, but I understand how important it is. Losing your mask can destroy your career. It could tear you apart both professionally and personally. So I've made the decision to call off the match. If this is our only chance at revenge, then I'm willing to take the risk. We are doing the match. What about your image? Your social media following? Your plan to be the best in the world? You could lose everything while we have nothing at stake. It's what you would do, right? I don't know. Before you went to WWE, the answer would have been yes. I actually looked up to you back then. You? Looked up to me? Yes. You were so confident in everything you did. But then you failed in WWE. And not because management held you back. You held yourself back because you lost that belief that you could succeed in any situation. You made excuses and blamed everyone instead of just doing the work. But I'm not going to make the same mistake. I see. That's a lot to digest there. Are you sure about this, Chosen? What if we lose? I can overcome any setback. That's actually another lesson he taught me. I mean, look at how terrible things got for him. Yet, here he is. I mean, he threw everything away. Like, it got really, really bad. He was a prama at the airport. Okay, okay, I think we get the point, but how about we just don't lose? That works for me. All right, let's do this. Nice words from Chosen. Yeah, the character does kind of suck because he did try to blame everyone else but himself for some really weird choices that we don't have any control over. And so let's see. Yeah. Oh. Right, the gigantic mask versus hair match will take place at our year in Arena Estatal Mega Evento. Media Magica Chosen will, Chosen will put his mask on the line against Kate Gorgeous and Hector Flores against the Legado de la Toros. Lotoros. Lotaros, whatever. Lotarios. There you go. Media Magica. Sorry, hashtag Media Magica. Hashtag Smash for his hair. Blah, blah, blah. 
Tomorrow, the God of the Latorius will be leading this match with our beautiful, luscious hair. And Chosen will be leaving with no mask and his career in shambles. And the Familia is going to prove we are the greatest luchadors of all time at Media Magica. And I'm going to prove that it's possible to tap out in Espanol. You've had some time to think about what Chosen said. Were you surprised that he looked up to you at one point? I was. Yeah, I was. I just thought he didn't look up to anyone. But it meant a lot hearing that and why he thought my WWE run didn't work out. I'm not sure if I agree with everything he said, but it was interesting to get that perspective. This mask versus hair thing is a huge deal in Mexico. It's actually called a lucha de apuesta, which means match with wager. Someone finally did their research. <laughs> like you said, it's a tradition that goes back a long way in Mexico, so I take it very seriously. I might have had my differences with Chosen, but he's putting so much on the line by agreeing to this. So, I'm going to do everything I can to not only get payback against Legado de Lotharios, but also protect his mask and legacy. We owe him that. All right. We all come all together. This is actually a tornado match. Oh wow. This is one of those things I get frustrated about. I should have known. Crap. This is why. Because all of a sudden I'm like moving and all of a sudden some, some random guy's gonna start grabbing me. There we go. Crap. There we go. Slam on his back, slam on his back. Wow. Ooh. Boom. Boom. Wow.
Why did I do that? for the uh, well, the belly suplex and instead I got uh, go back to your guy go back to your guy what did I say? I said go back to your guy 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 There we go. Now I gotta get him in the ring. And How does that even happen? He was chosen. What were you? What, were you, what do you do with chosen? Crap. <laughs> I, tur I, I turned away for like. Uh oh. Okay. Alright, we won. We wrecked them. Oh, I see, that's right. We gotta keep them in there because we got a buzz. Dang, they uh, they definitely look pretty right. One guy still has one of his hair intact. I wanted to get the win, but I'm glad one of them got the win. Ah, there we go. That was, I was wondering what I was going to get after all this. I, was, I, was trying, I forgot what it was that was, was an option for me. And, okay, that's right, the Latino heat vest. So... Now it's time for me to go after something really important. Uh, and before I do that, okay, like I said, I'm going to level up my submission, level 9, because why not? Why not? 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. And now I'm the LA Knight. Um, so this will put me at 27 here points. So next time around, let's see. Uh, I'll have to get 19 more points to boost this. Am I going to max up my submission? Most likely. Then I'll put up with the rest in like grappling and striking. And that'll pretty much be it. I don't know how much more I have to go. Uh, as far as like, how many more points I'm going to get. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see what I can do. Am I going to max out? Am I going to get like 100 overall? I'm going to be 99 overall. 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 Um, I feel like having the aerial down this low probably doesn't help my average. Um, I think if I bump that up, maybe it would go up a little bit quicker because the lows kind of bring down the highs. Um, at one from an average standpoint, or, 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 but still. Whoa! My technical submission offense is 115. Uh, so that definitely compensates I'll tell you that Whew. my power submission defense isn't so great uh, I gotta work on that um, my technical submission defense is like 96 <laughs> when it comes to technical submission offense like I love that I love that it still feels like it's really a challenge with some of these submissions too though but um, you know of course it's not gonna be a cakewalk um, but I definitely, if I can get, uh, put some wear on those bodies, I'm definitely going to go for my main submission more often and, and whoop them, whoop them, whoop them. So, we are almost, we're almost to the max. Um, and now, this is going to be in this episode, but before I end it, I'm just going to go to social media and hear the fun smack talk, uh, we give them, now that we've buzzed their heads, so, let's, uh, Let's see what they have to say. So WWE says, Legado del Moto, del Loteros, Loterios might be looking a bit different next time you see them after getting themselves into a hairy situation at Luca Magica's hashtag Media Magica. Okay. And we are requesting three months off to recover. <gasps> nope. Check out my feed for pics of... Angel Garza, WWE, uh -huh. they always acted like babies and now they look like them too. They bald though, they're <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Okay, so they're calling them out. Let's see. So now Chosen says, I know we haven't always gotten along. No, not even a little bit. Mostly because of your mouth. But just wanted to say I heard everything you said, and I was proud to fight alongside you and help protect your mask. What? Wait, 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 what? Hold on, maybe I said that. Okay, no, I, okay, I was like, his my mask, what? All right, so I said, I know we haven't always gotten along, but just wanted to say I heard everything you said, and I was proud to fight alongside you and help protect your mask. But we've been on opposite sides of the, of the ring or teaming. We've been a big, you've been a big part of helping me uh, get that confidence back that I can succeed in any situation, and I believe you can too. New phone, who's this? Seriously, this, seriously, it's the guy you just teamed with who's not Hector. Flores. Obviously he knows who it is, because this is a social media DM. It's not like text messaging. JK just wanted to break up the love fest. As weird as it feels to say this, you have my back. Now I got yours, Locke. Thank you, but again, please don't call me the <laughs> please don't call me Locke. How about Chosen Junior? Uh no, I'm good with my own name. Talk soon. Talk soon. <laughs> Do we really have to? <laughs> Do we really have to? All right. Uh, that was nice. Okay. So what did I just witness? Did you actually get outside your comfort zone and learn to work with others? Uh, it was one match to help out an old rival. Let's not get carried away. 
I mean, being able to work with others is nice when those others are not D-bags. Um, but you still gotta, he's still gotta learn how to not uh, get jumped and not to put him at a disadvantage because he wants to be at a disadvantage because he's stupid enough to think operating as an island is a smart idea, which it's not. In any event, that is our episode. We are so close. So, so, so close to the next chapter. And I'm going to change things up for the next chapter. Um, so stay tuned because it is going to get real. It is going to be cool. It is going to be funny. It is going to be great. Because I have an idea about something I'm going to do to make this whole experience in this next chapter a little bit of a surprise. A surprise for them. A surprise for you. A surprise. Until next time, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. I really appreciate your views. Please keep watching. Um, give me some opinions. Let me know what you think about the length of these episodes because uh, if you want them to be shorter, I can make them shorter. Um, if you want them to be longer, that's not going to happen. But I would like to hear that you want, you know, you want more content. It's always nice to hear. Um, just let me know, and we'll try to, you know, I love, I love hearing your comments. Um, the few that I see. Um, anyway, have a great day. Wonderful. Bye.